Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today for you, I'm gonna show you some mugs and glassware that I got at thrift stores from all across the land of Texas. So let's go check it out. All right, let's get started with this mug and glassware haul, and I have a couple goodies to show you at the end. Okay, let's start with these Val St. Lambert crystal little goblets, or little, um, I forget what you call these types of glasses. Um, and the pattern is pulley stars. First of all, I got these in Wimberley, and you can check out my travel vlog for when we went. And most of these items are from that trip, either DAV in Irving, Texas, or San Marcos, or Kyle, just all over Texas. But these were from Wimberley, and they were $4 but half off. So it was this little antique store, and I got six of them for a total of $12. Bucks. Um, now, first I wanted to buy one for me, because I've been making classic cocktails like Aviations, or Hemingway Daiquiri, and um, they polished up nicely, and you can kind of tell they're crystal. I'm not an expert, but when you click them with your finger, they make a nice ringing sound, unlike regular glass, and I found out that although this Starburst pattern is pretty popular in lots of different glasswares, um, this one went for eighty dollars for six recently sold on ebay i want to keep one of them so maybe i can get 70 to 75 dollars on five of them so happy to pick those up and by the way i polished them with this rydell wine glass uh polishing cloth and um i didn't do the best job but um they look better than what they did before so i recommend if you like entertaining to purchase a polishing cloth now for the rest of these, since I took all the prices off, I just want to say each mug or glass. All right, this is a Scarborough Fair pottery uh, goblet or chalice. It is a Renaissance festival in Texas and perhaps the rest of the country, I'm not sure. Um, but I picked it up because it was Deneen pottery. It's very small, you can barely tell. Uh, they make the Death Wish coffee mugs that sell pretty high. And I also got a few other Deneen pottery items. Um, they make them for companies and probably whoever wants it. Torque Sill. This is another Deneen pottery item. Hand thrown, made in the USA, 2018. I don't know what they go for because I think it's all about the content. So if this is a popular company, perhaps it'll go for like 20 to 30 I might want to sell this for around the same price. I don't know. I need to do my research. But this Ancestors of the Incas, uh, I just couldn't help but pick this up. I think it's pretty cool. The Lost Civilizations of Peru. Wow, words are hard. I need more coffee. Um, from T FBI or something, USA. Um, really cool. I wonder if this was a movie or like a museum exhibit. Uh, either way... For less than a dollar, I thought it was cool. Um, I'm going to kind of work my way around the table. Um, I was in Kyle Library Thrift with my brother and mom. Uh, and my brother let me buy these because he already had some mugs from The View. This is from the 2000th show. See all of them there? Really cool. Um, so not the year 2000. It was actually 2006. So I thought that was neat to get for a dollar. And speaking of, I like this one even better just because I like the color yellow. Very vibrant and floral. I see they're doing the same poses. Um, looks like it's made from a different company. Um, actually, I think out of the two, this one would sell more because of the 2000 show. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sell those separately. These are some really pretty, and I remember getting these at DAV in Irving. Uh, I love mugs with different handles. This one is floral, and it's from Roy Kirkham. 
uh, floret pattern, fine bone china made in England. And I actually have some items listed in our store from uh, Roy Kirkham. So I picked them up. Um, these two kind of go together, um, but they're not, ex actually they are exactly the same. What am I saying? Probably sell them together as a set of two. And I will probably sell these as a set of two as well. They are Rose of England, made in England, bone china, enhanced by an original design. How lovely, Viola. And this one is same brand, a tulip. So I will sell those together. I don't know how much, but I like to pick up English bone china. It's very nice especially if I can get them for less than a dollar. Um, this one, remember when sex, drugs, and rock and roll meant something other than Sunday antidepressants and turn it down? Amen, honey. Let's see, it's, um, holy crap. That's the brand. Love it. Oh, and Esco's a good company, so that'll help sell it, maybe. Um, I don't know how much for, but... I just love mugs. Y'all know this if you've watched my videos. And if not, I have a lot of other mug hauls and glassware hauls. They're cheap. They're collectible. Now, I had some trouble getting the price off of this. 65 cents. I like Hilo Hattie mugs. They are a company in Hawaii. And they uh, sell Hawaiian shirts and other things. Um, this one is 2002. Almost vintage. I really like it because it has a whale. I kind of have my own collection. So I might keep that, and I'm sure I will be able to get the marker off. Now these, I already have similar ones. Um, it is from the company Queens, and I've had lots of um, Queens mugs, but this one is Hooker's Fruit. Yes, you heard me correct. The Royal Horticulture Society, made in India. It's kind of weird. Fine Bone China... And it's made in India, but it's in the style of, like, English mugs. Oh, you see some dog hair. It's probably from Peter Henry. But, yeah, um, I can pair these with the other ones I already have for 65 cents. Excuse the dog hair. Um, <laughs> this is a really cool mug. It reminded me of Worcestersbach. Um, they look like Mounties from Canada. Um, and it says, Canada. Uh, Marc Tietro, Montreal. So anyways, it looks like hand decorated, but I'm not sure. But I just thought it was interesting. I need to look that up. Now I have other mugs similar to these. I knew right away that they are Ikea. They have these little tiny, almost pebble footed things on the bottom. Um, yep, just Ikea. I'm going to probably pair it with this one because they look like they go together. And in fact, when I go in my own cabinet, which needs organized, don't come for me. Be late. That's exactly what I need to do. You can tell that those two Ikea mugs go together. And I believe the same designer of these mugs designed the Ikea Tiki mugs um, that I recently purchased. And I just sold the last ones. But anyways, I need to focus. I just get too excited. Um, really cool. I love picking up mugs like this. Um, they're kind of vintage looking and look at that angled handle. I told you I like, uh, different handles. This has a footed, uh, pedestal base and sometimes they're called stacking mugs. Um, but yeah, there's no maker's mark, but I'm almost positive it's made in Japan. I will probably sell it as that. Just really nice, vibrant color to it. Now, one of my favorite things to pick up our Starbucks mugs. This one was really cool. I think this was $2, but Q4, which is the fourth quarter where the biggest amount of sales happen, is coming up and people are starting to get more mugs. So I want to make sure this is ready for the holiday season 2016. I really like it. Um, this was Starbucks too, as well. Uh, 2010, so it's 10 years old. New Bone China. And it looks like one of those just like little tea mugs. I really like this design. Almost atomic-like, but not really. This is just the wax marker I need to finish getting off. See, it comes up really easily. 
But y'all, can I tell you, all mugs are made differently. And sometimes I can use a washcloth to scrub off the wax marker. Sometimes you need to wipe it with some uh, alcohol or other solution. And Matthew normally does that. And to set up this video, I had to really scrub. So, you know, the life of a reseller is tough. Just kidding. Um, Bangkok. I love this uh, style of Starbucks mug. And to me, this has been selling for the highest prices of all the styles. I think they're just called classic collector mugs. I'm not sure. It's not You Are Here. Um, or maybe it's called Travel Series. Uh, collector Series. Why didn't I just look on the bottom, y'all? Let's not reinvent the wheel. 2009. So um, I think that can sell well. I'm going to probably list it for 25 Um it was really funny when we were in Wimberley, we went to this store and I saw Alex Tina and I'm like, that sounds familiar. Well, I knew right away I have a friend named Alex and Christina and they got married. So they had a wedding called Alex Tina. Um, I didn't, where's my brain at? What I mean to say is I'm like, I wonder if this is theirs from their wedding. And sure enough, it is. So of all places, I found a shot glass from my friend's wedding. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep it. Um, this was a really cool glass. Very mid-century. Mod. Uh, kitschy. I just love it. 65 cents. And I want to keep it, but I'll sell it. It's like, it's a small rocks glass. Um, I love this. Orenka. I think it's kind of like Orangina. Um, which is found all over Europe, like a little, almost like Sunny D, but better probably. Um, yeah, I need to look more, uh, into this, but I loved it. I'll probably keep that. Moving right along, also in Wimberley, and I need to clean that off a little better. Traverse, Michigan, cherry capital of the world. I just love this little juice glass. Uh, it's frosted. And, ooh, I see the AH. I'll give you three seconds to tell me what you think that brand is. Anchor Hawking. There we go. So it's good to know the maker. It helps when researching it. And I will put that up for sale. Um, this, I just randomly looked up. Uh, Leah, Ancient Winter. I think it was a game or a series, but whatever I... Whatever I found, I couldn't find this pint glass, so I'm going to list it. Um, this, Andrew let me buy because he already had one. Of all companies, it's Whataburger. Um, it's Whataburger. Now, I used to call it Waterburger when I was little. Some people probably still do. Wizard of Oz, 50th anniversary, 1939 to 89. So, really, really cool glass. I'm probably going to keep this. It's... It's probably not worth that much. But Whataburger is a very popular burger chain in Texas. And Texans will most likely tell you that it's the best. Better than In-N-Out. I want you to like this video and tell me in the comments what your favorite burger chain is. And now I want a burger. Uh, last Starbucks mug on the table um, is this cobalt blue glass. Uh, ooh, it needs, it's dirty, y'all. Don't judge. Um, I really liked it, and Andrew already had one, so he let me buy it. How nice of him. Uh, he, he really was nice. He let me buy a bunch of these mugs that I was gonna be jealous about, but then he let me buy them. Okay, we need to list this soon, because it will be Halloween in less than two months. Um, it is obviously Snoopy, Peanuts, Focus, come on, come on, Focus, Focus. There we go. Oh, and you can see I got it for 99 cents at Goodwill. And that looks like a Dollar General uh, original sticker. So anyways, it might not be a big seller, but I like it. So I think it could sell for about 10 plus shipping. And to me, that's a pretty good flip. So thank you for joining me on my mug and glass room. Before I let you go, I have a couple of other things that I've lumped in this video. Not just to fill in the table, but because I just wanted to show you. Sticking with the glassware theme, 
Um, this is a rum that I really like. It's kind of uh, similar to Kraken, just a little bit cheaper. Jonas Cursed Black, Stri Black Spiced Rum, and it's 47%, so that's nice. Um, anyways, I drink this all the time, and I just realized, I'm like, I always sell the Deadhead Rum bottles, so let me look it up, and there's none online. So I'm just going to try it out and see if I could sell this bottle. You know, it's it could appeal to people that want to make lamps or love a good nautical theme or just like rum. So we'll see. Um, I wanted to try a new whiskey, so I uh, picked this up. Obviously, I love the bottle. Snarly Yow Rye Whiskey, which is the only one I really drink, but I want to get into more. But I just wanted to show you all, that's a pretty cool bottle. And I have several bottles that I personally want to, you know, use as decorations for Halloween. I get really into Halloween, and I want to show you all my decorations from last year and after I decorate for this year. This was a really cool bottle as well. I had never seen it. Still has spice cherry whiskey. I can't wait to dip into that a little bit. Um, it came with these... It, you know, they don't have many gift sets now because it's not the holidays. But I thought it was really cool that it came with this spout. And I just, I like that. I don't know. I really like the can. I'm a sucker for good packaging. Um, and last but not least, this is an imported from Finland bottle of vodka. It was kind of pricey, uh, $36.99, um, which I usually don't spend that much on vodka. But I love this bottle. Tama Finland is a well-known... Um, gay artist who um yeah anyways you can read about the history but um i think it's really cool uh that i could use as a collector piece or of um what am i trying to say y'all trust me i have not dipped into this yet it sounds like i have because i cannot talk today but um he's a really well-known artist and i want to keep the bottle and maybe sell it there was one online for 36 bucks free shipping so, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe you all sell that. And last but not least, I wanted to tell you uh, about a glass bottle cutter I just purchased on Amazon for like 23 bucks. I have these beer bottles that I really like. Um, and I want to turn them into juice glasses to either sell or keep. So, um, I have not used it yet, but I just wanted to show you that that's available. Um, they have so many brands. I just decided on the one that said Amazon's Choice. So we'll see how it works out. And thank you for watching my glassware and mug haul. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep digging for treasure. And remember, it's not hoarding. If you at least try to sell it, please check out our other videos. Bye, everybody, and thank you very much.